So let's quickly look at the definition of what a cervix motion tenderness is, uh, which is basically a sign, okay, that you elicit when trying to um, see female patients, okay? So we'll define this sign. We'll look at how you can be able to elicit this sign. Then we'll also look at what the meaning of this sign, okay? So the cervix motion tenderness, all right? So let's um, quickly look at it. All right, you guys should note the um, location of the cervix. All right, you should note the, the location of the cervix, and definitely you know that what before you can um, access the cervix is through a vaginal examination. That's the VE. All right, let's define it. So that the cervix motion tenderness it actually refers to what a type of pain or discomfort. All right. And this pain or discomfort will be experienced when the cervix is moved or manipulated during a pelvic examination. Okay, can I see how they put their hand, one inside and one outside? Okay, if all your hands can't get in, you could just use like two hands or one hand, okay, then you move it, okay. That's a cervix motion. So let's look at it now. It can be a sign of various conditions, all right? And basically, um, let's look at the various conditions. That's if she experiences pain on motion of the cervix, okay? It could mean that there's a pelvic inflammatory disease. It could be that there's what? Cervicitis, that's inflammation of the cervix. It could be that there's endometritis. That's basically inflammation of the uterine lining. Okay. It could also mean that there's what adnexitis. Okay. And adnexitis is what anything the adnexal just have to do with the fallopian tube and the ovaries together. All right. So the, it could be that there's inflammation of the fallopian tube and the ovaries. It could be that the person has an ectopic pregnancy. It could be that there's ovarian torsion. It could be that there's cervical cancer, all right, which is actually rare though, all right? So, but this is cervical motion. So it's just like what? You're putting your hand through the vagina to stimulate the cervix, okay? So how the person responds will, will, will make you to suspect any of these conditions, all right? You start ruling out, start ruling out, okay? Because it's good for you to know other symptoms of all these conditions so that what you can rule out to go to the specific one. So what could be the process of the cervical motion tenderness sign being positive? It could be that there's an infection. It could be that there was inflammation. It could be that there's trauma. It could be that there's malignancy, that's a cancer. It could be that the hormonal changes, okay, in the person. All right, so uh, what are the assessments? Okay, um, okay, assessment just simply means like, okay, other things that you can do, okay, so that you assist the cervical motion turn and sign, so that like you can further on make good diagnosis. You could do, you could follow this up with a gentle pelvic examination. You could do a cervical motion testing, all right? That's move the cervix from side to side, anterior to posterior, and all the stuff. You could do a uterine and adnexal palpation, all right? You could do laboratory tests. You could do like STI screening, like sexual transmitted infection screening, and complete blood count, okay? Then you can also do imaging studies. Just have a good look of what is inside, all right? Imaging studies like the CT scan, ultrasound, and all the stuff. Okay, so this is how you do it. Okay, put your hand into the vagina. All right, touch the cervix. Okay, then if you want to move it, you can put your hand on and move. Okay, just like that. Now, um, if the cervical motion is uh, tenderness is positive, then you know that you have to go in for management of possible disease conditions. All right. And common management include um, antibiotics for if there's an infection, like the cervicitis, the adnexitis that we're seeing, 
It could be that uh, you might opt in for pain management. It could be that you ask the person to rest and avoid any strenuous activities for the meantime, all right? Then you can also follow up to care, okay, for resolution or progress, okay, of the disease. So if you know that this service motion tenderness is not a symptom, it's a diagnosis, okay? It is a thorough evaluation, okay, which is necessary to determine any underlying disease condition, all right? So that's a service motion tenderness um, definition, um, its meaning, okay, assessment and management, right?